What? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Ice Frog. I wanted it nerfed, and they buffed it again. Yeah, he got five more movement speed, too. So he's even more annoying to lane against. Just my goodness. There you go. That's another wasted skill right there. Very well done, boys. They went yeah. for it. But, you know, you got to be a bit more careful because now you know the cookie's on cooldown. Pretty long. Oh, just chill. Go field. First blood for Teemo. I snowballed in on that Phoenix. Tried to kill Blade for the uh, mana cost of the attribute shift, and now we're seeing a Bassy on oh, a one. Stomped up oh, after the cookie. Oh, I did get him. Moves Finally, too far. Spend the Sonic Wave. If she goes back mid, it's not really going to be possible. So you can see her right now, TP top. You called it. Straight into that safe lane. Pummel the Centaur with a Sonic Wave. Box of Fairy Fire with the Maldix. Definitely going to bring him down. Um, oh my god, why am I blanking? Raindrop on the Queen of Pain as well. Hmm. And really rushing hardcore into that orchid. Yeah, I, I keep looking at the CS board. There it is. Oh, there's the raw. In with the cookie, Snowball. chain stun up. Snowball, it's not saving her. Out of place there. Schofield doesn't buy enough time. They do turn up the snap by. We're spraying her up. Which cleared up by Whisper. They're kind of angling towards top. Yeah, they want to go on this uh, half HP centaur if they can. Keep punishing him. Help K1, maybe even take his cop tower. Just diving. Straight on to snap fire. Oh, the has been left alone. Radiant's Chris Lux there. Comes in, takes it with a scream. And what do you want to do here? Do you, do you want to push this tier one, bring Prophet up, or back to your lanes as usual? Well, it looks like Prophet's actually going to TP into the triangle. Robert he goes with a roar up to that Queen of Pain. Oh, the Sonic Wave turned around with the Maldict and Sacred is about to fall. Stampeded in, died, and now the Snowball back up to the Phoenix. Prada's gone, back in with the Beast Master, kills off Chris Luck. Thanks to Timo's Morphling. He's turned into Tusk, and now the Death Ward bouncing, jumping onto Robo Z. Whisper is slain by the Axes, and Timo comes out with a double kill as he finishes off the Witch Doctor. So a three for two. All things considered. And to tower, and I'm pressuring into the tier threes. Yeah, that's something we didn't mention. He, he took the bottom tier to tower already. Oh, yeah. And this is Schofield doing Schofield things. You know, he's playing in that favorite part of the map again, the bottom jungle. He does scout them out, but they've converged in trying to help him, and that's allowed Stinger. Well, that's allowed them to kill oh, Stinger, no. and now Aurora is the Queen of Pain. Oh. Chris Luck has also walked into his own demise. A triple kill for Robo Z. Kisses onto K1, and the Wild Axes, they're just stacking up. Four of them, in fact. Onto K1, the super over there. But Vimax from Queen of Pain gonna jump in and try and battle with a Sonic Wave. Doesn't even kill a single soul. Sacred does finally fall to the Raiders of K1. Whisper, TP. In the orchid there with the Grimacate to save the BKB. SHCC. My BKB from Whisper, the jump on the screen, the cookie back, the final click. Does take that Phoenix down, but so much lost by Beast Coast. Timing is now with the, with the way that they're playing on the map. We just said. He sure is. Closed in on. Yeah, Might be the. Yeah. Whisper. Oh, they see the hawk. They've got to know this is oh. coming now. The roar, the BKB, it's timed nicely by Whisper. Snowy oh, Bell is going to try and get himself away from this. A Stinger does arrive. Schofield in the back onto the Morphling. The jump onto Whisper. Clear through the Prophet. Death Ward dropped as K1 moves in. Tino has turned into him. Double Wraith Kick. Death Ward still bouncing a few attacks out there. As the dive from Phoenix trying to catch out Stinger and three in a row. On the KB. The Morphling's Aegis is it's going to expire soon, but they're going to stampede into the jungle. They spot K1. He's got level 3 reincarnation and that BKB, don't forget. So TPs from Beast Coast likely to come. First life down. He's he's BKB is very early. Yeah, he's going to get rolled up. He's got the BKB still going, but the physical damage of the Morphling is shredding through him. K1 is about to drop the wave on forward. The final touch. And Timo secures it. A double kill for the Morphling. Snowball back in, though, as Whisper and Schofield clear through the Centaur. The Phoenix. A little sprout, but Whisper is he out. No, it's a Triple! Warriors of the wood! There's no Sonic Wave, they don't have that big team fight oh, damage. They're baiting. they're baiting the Phoenix. They sure are, but the Phoenix has died so quickly, <laughs> even with a gobble up. Oh, it catches! Yeah, they, they got, got Chris Luck stuck! They're stuck right. Right. Beautifully done by the Snap Bar, and they've opened it up for the backstab from Team O2. Dyer's middle On the bottom creep wave. So that's something they gotta be thinking about. You know, using Whiff against Nature's Prophet, that could be a very bad idea. See a Stinger. 
E-Blade, Raw, Axis. Waiting for him out. Teemo aggressive onto the high ground. It's a uh, danger from unknown. Oh, Teemo yeah. snowballed upon. The K1, Chris Slug, BKBs have popped. Still looking all right with a gobble up, spit forward. The Quinnipane blends forward aggressively as K1 chases onto Teemo. The more blades about to fall. He's dropping low, but he wave forms out. Sacred in the air, but the blades stop. Scofield down, and the anger is also finished off, though, by Whispers. The kiss is cancelled out. The sun's again from Chris Luck and Beast Coast. It looks like they're winning this fight. All things said and done. K1 is still alive. Chasing forward. Forward, there's the second life. Reincarnation is popped. And Timo, he wants back in, sure. But Whisper and Chris Luck have closed down onto nope, Robo Z, taken out his streak, and the more than couldn't. He was stuck. Extended team fights, and Roshan, he's just yep. there for Beast Coast. Yeah, know. It's going to be way too late. Nice, the dice nice. on the high ground. The jump in for the Beastmaster. He's got the roar into the pit. In jumps the center, but he starts stop. He can't get to the storm. And he's killed off. Roshan's about to fall. Down it goes as Chris Luck snatches the Aegis. Whisper kills off the Phoenix and the Beastmaster dead inside the pit. They jump forward and they want the Morphling. Sprouting him up, popping the Lincolns. There's no BKB on Teemo. He does manage to waveform a little further away. Jumping off to the left hand side. Oh, he's actually blink, sorry, and Queen. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Fight breaking out, Teemo! The Lincolns. Ah, gets the way form away. K1 still trying to move in with that double damage room, but look nice. at Schofield, so low already. Had to dip back while the Quinnipane forces the BKB out of the Beastmaster, and K1 takes Wish down to half HP with that one big slap. Morphling has to stampede back with Alpha Centaur, and they've lost that bottom range Rax, probably the melee too. Glyph does get pushed down there, just hold on for dear hope here at Team Unknown. And how quick this game has swung off of that one fight in the mid lane, and now the Radiant team are losing their base. Chris Lux, go build the K1, kill off the Dead without buyback for 100 seconds. Second level K1 allows the Nevin dive into Fountain. Kill them all off. Supernova's there, up in the Fountain on the high ground, focusing it down little by little. They do get it. Corona's gone, and I think this game is gone too. Schofield is in there, punching the snap by Chris Luck. He eats the cheese. He can blink away in a second too. Oh, this is disastrous, and it's just GG. Yeah, you know Noah Gary, let me know. Let me know if you watch the script to the game, Gary, the next game.